Welcome to the Zavi Productions. My name is Dezavi. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a drum kit using your own samples in Ableton. If you're in need of professional, high quality samples, head on over to Modern Producers. They have hundreds of samples to choose from for every genre, as well as virtual instruments and a couple free kits to choose from. You can find the link to the website attached below in the description. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, so here we have our session. The first thing we need to do is load a drum rack. To do that, we're going to go to Categories, go to Drums, and the first choice here, Drum Rack, we're going to double click it. Now, this gives us a blank rack to work with. We'll be loading all of our sounds in here. Before we can load anything into the rack itself, we have to import the files into Ableton first. To import the files, we're going to go to Places, go down to the bottom, and click on Add Folder. In here, we're going to search for the folder that contains the samples that we want to use. In my case, it's going to be Desktop. And I have a folder here called Drillers 2022. Now, these are sounds that I've pre-selected from one of the drum kits off of Modern Producers called Drillers 2022. So I'm going to click on the folder and hit Open. I'm going to go down to the bottom and find the folder that I just imported. It's right here at the very, very bottom. And these are the sounds I'll be using. Now, we can preview the sounds by clicking on it and working our way down with the arrow. To add the sounds into the slots, we're simply going to click and drag each sound into its own slot, starting with the kick, then the snare, the hi-hat, a percussion, the crash, uh, what else, oh, claptrap, counter snare, and another percussion. So now that we have the sounds in the slots, we can now play them on our drum pad. Now, as you can see, we have so many other slots that we can work with, and this is especially useful if you have a drum pad with 64 pads. Now, if this turns out to be one of your favorite drum racks that you'll be using quite often, it's a good idea to save it. You can save it by going to the corner here where there's a little flo uh, floppy disk, and we're gonna click on it. And in here, we're gonna name our rack. I'm gonna call it Trappy, or Trap, ah, Trappy. Hit enter. So now, if you wanna recall this rack, we can simply double click it, and it'll pull up the same rack every single time, even if we delete it. Delete. And this is how you build a drum kit using your own samples in Ableton. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and comment. It helps us reach others interested in music production. I do music production tutorials using Pro Tools and Ableton, as well as review and demo music production equipment. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next session.